Hello tea friends, welcome back to the Mad Hatter Tea Review. Today I am going to do an unboxing of the Teal Ra, um, which is a Canadian based uh, company up in Quebec. Um, I discovered them because David's Tea Reviews uh, recommended a chocolate mint rooibos tea that I wanted to check out. And I noticed that there was a specific number to hit before I got free shipping, so I made sure to hit that number and um, kind of went a little crazy on their samples. Let's get this unboxed. We got a few samples. Um, the first sample is a white citrus vanilla, and these are pretty good size samples. I think they came in 50 gram intervals. And then the next one is uh, 50 grams of the spiced pear. It's kind of hard to see, but I'm just showing the camera despite the ingredients being kind of tiny. Um, and then I got a tropical banana coconut. Then I got a uh, perfect pumpkin pie, 100 grams of that, it just sounded good. I'm a sucker for pumpkin teas. Then I got uh, 100 grams of the chocolate mint rooibos, which was recommended to me by uh, David's Tea Reviews. Then I got uh, 50 grams of a 20 year aged Iceland Boer raw tea. Then I got uh, 50 grams of Calm CBD. And I have 50 grams of the coconut custard. And we are back. I am about to do a series of all of these tea uh, teas. The first one I'm going to try today is the coconut mint rooibos. Okay, this is going to be nice. I can already tell. Smells sort of like a peppermint patty that the Girl Scouts sell. The tea has rooibos, uh, chocolate, peppermint, and natural flavoring. The brewing instructions say steep four to five minutes at 205 Fahrenheit or 95 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to brew this up and we will be right back. And we are back. All right, so I let this sit for about five minutes. It's very dark, very dark indeed. But the aroma of the tea is just explosive. Mm, mm, that's good. Kind of reminds me of a peppermint patty, uh, the York peppermint patties. It's nice, creamy, minty, chocolatey. It's very, it's very, 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 very nice. And um, I think this would be well as a latte, but as is, very nice. Mm, 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 mm. I'm so glad I bought a lot of this. Thank you, David's Tea Reviews, for recommending this to me. I really, really like this. I'm going to probably say 8.5 tea bags out of 10 tea bags. Um, until then, let's move on to the next tea. And we are back. All right. Next tea is spiced pear. This has apple, pear, hibiscus, rose hips, pineapple, cinnamon, natural flavor, and sunflower. It says to use 200 Fahrenheit or 95 Celsius water and steep for four to six minutes. On the nose before we get to that. It smells like bubble gum. Like a gumball machine bubble gum. Very fruity, very enjoyable. Let's give this a steep and we'll be right back. And we are back. So I uh, brewed this about six minutes. It has a nice deep red color to it. Oh, that smells like gum, like bubble gum. Yeah, it's sweet. It's a little tart because of that hibiscus. It's very fruity, definitely taste the pear. A little bit of spice, but not too much. It, the hibiscus gives it this like cherry note, which is unusual because hibiscus has a very distinctive flavor, but it kind of, kind of gives it this cherry note. It's very unusual in a good way. Yeah, so if I were to drop an honest review, I would probably say seven point 
8%. 8% if we were to round up. It's pretty good. So far, we're two for two. And we shall move on to the next. It's a new day, a new video to continue on with this series from Chilra, is how I'm going to say it. I'm probably butchering it. Um, but today I'm starting the day out with a 20 year aged Iceland raw pour. It smells fruity. It smells fresh and uh, vibrant. Nothing that I really can pinpoint uh, any direct flavor, but it's definitely a raw pour. Um, it smells young. Um, it smells fresh. So I'm going to be brewing this in my Gai Wan today that I got for Christmas. Um, I have measured out about seven grams of tea. So there, there it is. There's some of it now. A uh, big fluffy leaf. I'm going to warm up the Gai Wan here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stack a couple fusions and give my overall thought on the tea. I like to drink raw pour, sometimes a ripe pour, before I do anything else in the day. Um, especially when I have time to have a gung fu session, I like to do that. Um, and then I western brew for the remainder of the day. It's just a thing I like to do. When I do it like this uh, in the mornings, um, I give myself about a half hour of just tea time um, before I get the day started. Yeah, so the uh, the leaf, the wet leaf, is very kind of nutty a little bit. It has a nice mineral bite on the nose, at least, and uh, very green. It's very nice. Raw pour, sometimes it is a difficult thing for me to judge. Um, you know, I usually typically will say it just smells like a raw pour smells. And sometimes people get it, but sometimes people don't. And if I was told by somebody it just smells like a young raw pour, I'd be like, okay, I get the idea, but can you can you dive into it a little more? And when I do that, I feel somewhat guilty because it's hard to assess um, a tea on the nose when it has that typical smell that most raw pours have. Um, and if you haven't experienced raw pour, then it, it's one of those teas that is just hard to kind of explain. So yeah, let's get into the tea. It has a nice light yellow. It's pretty good. It's very fresh pour. It's not overly aged. The bag said it's, it's 20 year aged Iceland raw pour. Um, I'll have to go on, on their website to see what that means exactly. But it doesn't taste overly aged to me. It doesn't taste 20 years aged. Um, the oldest tea I've ever had was a 98. That was a ripe pour. And it just tastes cleaner and smoother. But I've never had a 20 year aged raw pour. And if I have had a 20 year aged raw pour, I'd probably remember it. I've had a 2005 that had a nice deep uh, earthiness to it, but it still had a lot more to go before, you know, had that aged raw pour taste. This is very vibrant. This is very crisp, green, mineral, lighter, like a pear. It's good though, you know, it's it's hard to explain, but it is good. Um, I just wish I had a better palate at some times. Maybe I shouldn't be reviewing teas. 
Um, but it's good. It's crisp. It's juicy. Um, it's not astringent whatsoever. It's not bitter whatsoever. So it's very nice, very lovely. Um, but yeah, let's move on to the next one. And we are back. I'm going to try the perfect pumpkin pie this morning. It smells like seasoning that you would put on steak, maybe in a baked good. This one has pumpkin, apple, cinnamon, ginger, turmeric root, cinnamon rods, cloves, cardamom, pink pepper, and natural flavoring. Um, it says to steep at 205 Fahrenheit or 95 Celsius for four to five minutes. So I am going to uh, let this steep for a few minutes and we'll be right back. And we are back. I'm sipping out of my Snoopy Easter egg cup today oh, and, and Woodstock. That actually tastes better than it smells. I mean, it doesn't smell bad. It just doesn't smell like I would expect pumpkin pie. It tastes more like a pumpkin pie filling pre-baked. It, it has all that cinnamon powering through and that pumpkin flavor. They did pretty good on blending it. Um, it's like in the single digits today, so it's pretty chilly. Um, and this is a good cup to warm you up. If I were to give this an honest rating, I would say maybe a seven out of 10 tea bags. It's good. Okay, let's move on to the next. And we are back. We are going to be drinking the white citrus vanilla. Uh, this has apple, green rooibos, lemongrass, orange wedges, lemon, and vanilla flavoring. It says to heat water to 205 or 95 Celsius and steep four to five minutes. So we're gonna do that real quick and we'll be right back. So I let this sit for about four and a half minutes. Has a nice yellowish hue to it. Mmm, smells very lemony. It's citrusy and creamy, almost like a creamsicle. Add a little bit of sugar to that and that would be like a creamsicle. It's very citrusy, somewhat creamy. You can definitely taste the lemon grass. There's a touch of vanilla lingering on the mouth. I think I'm gonna try this with sugar next time, but this holds up. I'm gonna give it like seven and a half out of 10 tea bags, um, but let's move on to the next. We are back with cup number two today. Woo! It's snowed a lot, so I've been drinking a lot of tea, a lot of caffeine pumping through my veins. Try and stay warm by drinking lots of hot tea. It's been really great. So the next tea we're moving on is the coconut custard. This is a rooibos coconut natural flavor tea. Um, it's said to heat your water to 205 Fahrenheit or 95 Celsius and steep four to five minutes. So we are going to do that and we shall return. And we're back. Very rooibos-y smelling. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's very nice. If you like coconut, if you like rooibos, this is your cup of tea. I'd give that one about seven out of 10 tea bags. Let's move on to the next. And we are back. Our next tea is tropical banana coconut. This is a rooibos, apple piece, pineapple, coconut, papaya, banana pieces, orange peel, natural flavoring, and coconut shreds. It says to uh, heat water to 205 or 95 Celsius and steep three to five minutes. So that's what I'm gonna do and we will be right back. Ooh, that's very nice. That rooibos definitely comes out, but you also get a banana coconut for sure. And a little bit of that papaya and pineapple also on the, on the nose. Oh my gosh. You definitely taste the papaya, you definitely taste the pineapple, and a hint of coconut. The rooibos base isn't so present on the mouth. That's very nice. I'm gonna try it iced. Um, I realize that these are all really good hot, but they're probably amazing iced as well. Eight tea bags out of 10 tea bags. And we are at our last tea. Thank you for taking this journey. This is probably one of my longest videos but I figured I'm trying a new series where I just kind of 
blend all my reviews together and give it one massive go because I figured I create multiple videos at once anyway and I might as well just mesh it all together because I have a high amount of energy in that one sitting and I just really enjoy doing it this way. Um, but I also will post random tea reviews here and there because I have a lot of teas that I want to review and kind of really dive in further. Definitely want to work on expanding my palette this year in 2022 and I definitely want to work on giving more detail in my reviews and kind of exploring more in my tea process and tea sipping process. Dive in. There's just a lot that I want to do but there's also a lot in life that is happening and so it's a very busy time and very uh, chaotically exciting uh, time in my life and I'm just very happy uh, to be able to be back doing these tea reviews and hopefully it'll be more consistent. Um, there was just a lot going on during the holidays with work schedule changing and just life happening that I was posting infrequently and toward the end of the advent calendar I wanted to do every day but just things happened. That's life. I'm glad to be able to at least post some content here and there and I'm happy to be back posting content again. It's just easier to do one of these long videos over a weekend. I hope you enjoy this. I hope you've been enjoying this and I hope that you are wanting to now get into Teal Raw Teas as well. They are exciting. Everyone I've had so far is phenomenal. There hasn't been a tea that I've disliked. Um, the last tea I've chosen for last uh, is the Calm CBD. The reason I chose this is I figured by the time this video is done and all the recording is done, it's going to be pretty late because I do take breaks in between each tea. I, I read or I write or I do some, do some drawing or I um, just play video games or hang out with the wife, play cards, do whatever we need to do and or hang out with the dogs, go outside and shovel the snow which has been um basically the thing uh these past few days so i am just excited to be back doing this again i hope that you enjoy this long drawn out the reviews all right so we're gonna get in the tea uh the calm cbd has strawberry leaves hemp leaves chamomile blossoms balm popped buckwheat lemongrass, natural flavor, rose petals, and marigold blossoms. The instructions say to heat water to 205 or 95 Celsius and steep for four to five minutes. One thing I will note is you definitely smell the roses and it kind of reminds me of like a garden salad if you had flowers in it. So anyway, I'm going to throw some water on the leaf and we'll be right back. I steeped the tea for five minutes here. Has a nice uh, yellow color. It looks darker on camera. Wow, that smells nice. Mm. <sighs> yes. If you like lemongrass, this will be your thing. If you like rose petals, this will be your thing. If you like chamomile, this will be your thing. Has a touch of strawberry as well. I'm honestly gonna say for a bedtime tea, eight and a half tea bags out of 10. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, that is the end of our Teal Ra journey. Until then, feel free to drop a comment, a like, subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Until then, happy sipping. Have a fantastic day. Stay warm. And we'll catch you later. Cheers.